Thank you very much, Dr. Dietrich, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Consul General Ivama, dear Dr. Dietrich, thank you again for the kind introduction. Dear Mrs. Sturr from the Ministry of Economics, dear Mr. Nakamura from the Fukushima Prefectural Government, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and partners from Japan and from NRW, I'd like to welcome you very warmly on behalf of NRW Global Business, the new trade and investment agency of the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia, also known by its initials NRW. I'm delighted to open today the Digital NRW Japan Seminar on the Future Medical Technology Market. And although I would have preferred, of course, to welcome you all in person here at the famous Medica Trade Fair at the NRW Pavilion, but I think we're going to do this next year again. Some of you might think it's a new name, NRW Global Business, and a new face, me. So let me briefly introduce the new agency and myself. Only about two weeks ago, um, we launched our new trade and investment agency, NRW Global Business. And the idea is to offer comprehensive and tailor-made services for all companies, on the one hand, to develop growth markets abroad and to network with international business partners. On the other hand, to support investment projects and to support companies who settle, who set up shop in NRW. Moreover, we are responsible for the organization of joint trade fair presentations abroad, and we support also international trade delegations to foreign countries. My name, the new face, is Felix Neugart. I'm the new CEO of NRW Global Business, and in fact, this is one of the first official events in my new capacity. NRW, of course, is a place with many global players, which is quite attractive, and in fact, it's Germany's leading regions in many, or the Germany's leading region in many respects. Uh, when it comes to GDP, economic powers, it is the largest in Germany with over 20% of the overall GDP of Germany and uh, in fact it has over 700 billion euros in gross domestic product. Also industry and manufacturing plays a big role here. Um, industrial enterprises um, in North Westphalia and industrial workforce also are almost 20% of the overall figures in Germany. We are also quite innovative for instance in IT in software business, we have more than 25,000 um, enterprises in ICT, in the ICT sector, which employ almost 230,000 people and no other state in Germany boasts a similar density and capacity when, it's comes, when it comes to IT and software business. Also in logistics, we are quite, um, quite remarkable. We have an excellent transport infra infrastructure and about a fourth or a quarter of all um, logistics centers in Germany are located in NRW. And uh, last but by no means least, also research and development plays a great role here. We have over 70 universities in NRW with 770,000 students. And in addition, we are proud to have one of the densest research networks in Europe, 60 technology centers and more than 50 non-university research institutes. And for NRW, of course, Japan is one of our most important economic partners. The trade volume between NRW and Japan is more than 9, 9 billion euros. And of course, many Japanese companies um, are also um, present here in North Westphalia. They form one of the largest international business communities here. Um, we count 600 Japanese companies here on the ground, which employ more than 46,000 people. And of course, Düsseldorf, the city of Düsseldorf, is the largest center for Japanese companies in continental Europe. And therefore, we are quite interested in, um, in building cooperation with Japan, with Japanese companies in the sector of medical technology. We have been cooperating with Fukushima Prefecture since 2014. Since many years, we have, we have exchanged a number of delegation trips to both countries and we have a number of um, successful examples of business 
cooperation between Japanese and NRW companies, which was fostered by this partnership. This collaboration over the years would not have been possible without the support of many partners on both sides. And I would like especially to thank the Fukushima prefecture, the JETRO, the Japanese um, from Trade Promotion Agency, the Chamber of Industry and Commerce in Düsseldorf, my former employer, the IVAM Micro Technology Network, which is organizing today, which is also organizing today's event, and the Japanese German Business Association DJW. or DJW. Today we bring together companies from Fukushima and NRW um, with a background in medical technology in order to, intens to intensify the exchange between our two countries and give these companies the opportunity to set up further collaboration and to expand their international business. We expect, I think, a quite an exciting program. I've seen many pitches on the program and I'm very much looking forward to the innovation which the participating companies are going to present. And before I conclude, let me mention one more thing. I would like to invite you also to visit the digital and NRW pavilions at the virtual, at the two virtual trade fairs which are offered today, the virtual Medica trade fair and the virtual Compamed trade fair. No less than 34 exhibitors from NRW are presenting their products and their services online. So make sure to, be, to, to, to have a look and to check it out. But for now, I would like to wish you a good event an excellent event and I of course hope that we soon be, we will soon be able to meet again physically. Take care and stay healthy. Thank you very much Mr. Neugart and uh, thank you for this uh, nice uh, uh, words and also thank you um, for inviting you to the virtual booth. I think that's uh, what we all should do today and uh, start uh, uh, to, to look at, at the virtual um, fair. It's the only way we can do it at the moment so let's do the best out of it. Thank you very much again. Um, so now we come to uh, greetings from um, uh, Mrs. Ellen Dörr. As I said, um, she is uh, uh, responsible at the Ministry for Economic Affairs, Innovation, Digitalization and Energy of the State of North Rhine-Westphalia. She's responsible for the health economy. Um, she has been supporting the NRW um, Japan project for several years and most of you will already know her so I'm happy that you are here uh, Mrs. Durr and the floor is yours for your greetings. Thank you. Uh, Consul General Iwama, Dr. Dietrich, Mr. Nakamura, Mr. Neugart, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to welcome you on behalf of the Ministry of Economy innovation, digitalization and energy of the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. This time not in Düsseldorf, but in a virtual space, a new experience. We are initially disappointed when we were initially disappointed when after advanced planning, Medica has to be canceled in September. However, we now also see the, the advantages of the digital format. We are accessible to a wider group of people. For example, to everyone who would not have been able to come for safety reasons or other reasons. The consequences of the pandemic hinder the international cooperation of business. Transport is restricted and trade is more, made more difficult. The lack of protective equipment has led to each country placing priority on supplying its own population. International supply chains have proved to be dependencies that are now no, no longer desired to the same degree. In the area of vaccine uh, development, intensive international collabor collaboration on the part of researchers and developers is currently taking place and is, is bringing solutions that we urgently await. The virus overcomes all borders and can therefore be combated only with the joint efforts of all nations. Medical engineering can also make valuable contributions 
to this, for example, in the field of diagnostics. Coronavirus is also an innovation as accelerator. We are seeing it in Germany in advancements we are now making in digitalization, especially in the health industry. Be sure also to visit the two virtual joint stands of the state government with the focuses on diagnostics and digital health. Our collaboration can produce innovative solutions, approaches to combat the current coronavirus crisis, as well as further challenges to healthcare provisions. On this note, I wish you a productive meeting and I thank everyone who was involved in preparing this virtual seminar. We hope to be back in Düsseldorf to experience Medica 2021 as a live event again from 15th to 18th November 2021. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Dörr. Um, I'm very glad that you that you mentioned the next fair again. <laughs> it's very important that we see it in person. Um, I, it's not possible this year, so I'm happy that we are in a virtual way uh, connected. But uh, it's uh, if you want to build trust, you need personal and direct meetings. And so hopefully next year we can visit Fukushima again and, uh, and hope to uh, have all our Japanese friends here in, in Düsseldorf and Germany again. So, so thank you very much, Mrs. Stirr. And we come now to uh, the um, uh, Consul General, um, Mr. Iwama. Um, he is uh, Consul General of Japan just recently, um, yeah. and he has already a lot of experience as a diplomat no. in Germany for <laughs> lots of, years in the Japanese <laughs> Embassy in Berlin. Um, and what I found very interesting, he uh, left Germany in 2018. Yes. Are yes. The ministry responsible for various to the enthronement of His Majesty, the Emperor of Japan. So very interesting job. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we are back, uh, glad that you are back and I'm honored that you are here to submit a greeting message to us. Um, please, Mr. Obama. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, um, uh, Dr. Dietrich and Mr. Uh, Neugert, uh, uh, Ms. Dürer, and ladies and gentlemen, as a Consul General of uh, Japan in Dusseldorf, I have been looking forward to participating in me Medical Compliment, one of the world's largest uh, medical fair. Uh, as I have learned from my predecessor that uh, he made uh, his greeting remarks uh, to the same occasion last year uh, for around 40 people on site. It is a bit uh, unfortunate that this year's medical complement, the significant event for both Germany and Japan, is being held online only. However, the new normal caused by the COVID-19 pand pandemic has brought us not only a, a challenge, but also a new opportunity at the same time. Thanks to the fact that, that today's uh, seminar held online we can gather more participants, certainly than that of last year. Furthermore, we are also able to invite uh, the, con uh, the, the audience from the countries other than Japan and Germany. It is a great honor and pleasure for me to give my greetings to all of you at this new style medical compliment held online. I have heard in the medical compliment a significant number of Japanese exhibitors such as companies and organizations are gathered. Over the long years, this trade fair has become a good example for the collaboration between Japanese and German enterprises. While I would like to reiterate the significance of this uh, viewpoint, the medical complement has a further importance for us, the Consulate General, which has uh, assumed the responsibility for strengthening uh, the relationship between Japan and Germany here in North Rhine-Westphalia. Firstly, the field covered by this trade fair linked directly with the fields in which both Japan and Germany are highly interested. 
as both countries are, are facing a common challenge of aging society, medical science is a significant thing for our future economic growth. In particular, in Japan, we are going to face the so-called 2040 problem, 2040 problem, in which the aging rate reaches at its peak, and at the same time, shrinkage of the working population gets more serious. In order to, um, in order to overcome this unprecedented situation in the world, it is es essential that the stakeholders work together across the border of industries such as medical and nursing cares. It is also important that they provide a highly high qualified uh, healthcare services, including preventive medical and medicine efficiency. I strongly believe that Japan, the front runner in the world, which enters into the super aging society, should take on the lead to achieve the best qualified medical technology in the world and provide services to uh, realize a healthy long-lived society in order to extend the healthy life expectancy. Therefore, it is becoming more and more essential to combine the new areas of industrial activities and to promote the interaction uh, of the industries with other countries. I hope that the B2B exchanges at Medica Compamed could contribute to provide such solutions to the challenges that both countries are facing. Secondly, the medical complement is important for us in terms of the relationship with the state of North Rhine Westphalia, which uh, the state uh, where under the jurisdiction of the Consulate General of Japan in Dusseldorf lies. NRW has a long standing partnership with Fukushima Prefecture in Japan. More specifically, uh, the medical industry is for the pre prefecture not only important as uh, one of the uh, pillars of restructuring of Fukushima, but also significant as one of the two elements in which Fukushima and NRW has been collaborating very closely. Last year, Governor Uchibori of Fukushima Prefecture visited Min Minister Pinkbart, the State Minister of Economy in NRW, and they renewed the re memorandum of cooperation in the medical industries between Fukushima and NRW, Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19, it was not allowed to let us visit each other for the time being as it used to be. However, even in this situation, I hope that collaboration between Fukushima and NRW will be promoted through an online events such as this kind of seminar. Last but not least, let me touch upon the COVID-19 issue once again as a conclusion. As mentioned in the beginning of my speech, Although I really appreciate that the significant uh, significance of uh, holding a seminar online like today, I still think it is desirable that COVID-19 would be settled down as soon as possible and the trade fair would be held with the physical meetings again in the future as before. Even though this seminar might not directly relate to the, to the, the issue, it could be a good opportunity uh, for the uh, participants who have more or less related to medical science to talk about this pandemic in a broader context at the fringe of contacts. I would like to share my wishes together with you as my concluding remark that the international community would overcome this pandemic soon by bringing the knowledge of medical professionals in a coordinated manner. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Konto Livama. Um, thank you for your nice words. Um, I agree totally with you that we, as, as uh, people working in the medical technology field, should work together on the uh, COVID-19 issues and solve this problem as soon as possible so that we can meet again in person. So thank you very much for all your support. Um, with this, I only also want to thank um, all the others uh, who are in this project together and uh, supporting all this, especially organizing this event today. Um, and uh, first of all, of course, as uh, Mr. Neugart said, NRW Global Business is um, organizing this event together with the Chamber of Commerce in Düsseldorf. 
um, and uh, um, so, uh, which is the, the specialist coordinator and EFARM as the implementation organization. The project here is funded by the Ministry of Econo Economic Affairs um, and uh, uh, that's what uh, Mrs. Der said already. And so I'm very glad that in the audience is also are also the most important uh, people for this uh, uh, organization, uh, for example, Mrs. Mutzelet, Mrs. Gelesos. Um, also, I, I, I've seen here Mrs. Uh, Becker from uh, all from NRW Global Business. Thank you for, for joining. Mrs. Lang from um, uh, Lange from IHK. Um, I'm not sure if she is in, but she is uh, from the Chamber of Commerce side, the organization. But all this would not uh, be possible without our Japanese um, colleagues. So um, I'm very happy that uh, Mr. Esler from the Fukushima Prefecture is here. We will hear him maybe later also. And Mr. Ito, who's the coordinator of this uh, um, project from the Japanese side um, is here also. So thank you for joining. And uh, also JETRO is very important in, this, uh, in the support of this project. I've seen uh, Mrs. Reling, for example, from JETRO Düsseldorf here. So very welcome uh, to all of you. Um, but most important is the Fukushima uh, prefectural government. So I'm very happy that um, uh, Hideyasu Nakamura is here. He is director of Medical Industry Cluster Promotion Unit. And um, he will give a short introduction into the, um, the process uh, which has been uh, achieved by the Japanese side and uh, the project from the Japanese side, especially probably um, um, replying to the, um, to the uh, uh, status after the catastrophe in uh, some years ago and what has changed in the prefecture at this time. So I'm very glad that uh, Nakamura-san will give this talk here. Um, he will, um, as I heard, start in English, but then switch to Japanese. We have an interpreter here for translation. So um, please, Mr. Nakamura, the floor is yours. We are very happy to have you here and hear what the Fukushima prefectural government is doing in this uh, in the medical technology field and is planning to do in the near future. Please, Mr. Nakamura. Hello everyone, I'm Hideyasu Nakamura, director from Fukushima Prefecture Government. I'll introduce our exhibitors and the medical device industry in Fukushima Prefecture. But today I have a good interpreter, so I'll be speaking in Japanese from now on. First of all, I would like to explain about the potential of medical device industry in Fukushima Prefecture. Fukushima Johnson Johnson Olympus Nado,世界的に有名な医療機器メーカーをはじめ、70を超える医療機器製造業登録事業者が創業しております。医療機器の受託生産金額は2018年の数値で441億円で国内1位と日本国内で有数の医療機器生産権です。In Fukushima Prefecture, there are more than 70 registered medical device manufacturers, including global market leaders in this sector, such as Johnson & Johnson or Olympus. In 2018, the value of contract medical device production was 44.1 billion yen, which ranks first in Japan. We are one of the leading medical device production prefectures in Japan. 
、えー、これには医療機器の生産に必要とされる繊細な加工技術を得意とする福島県内のものづくり企業の特徴が大きく影響しています。In our prefecture, we have many manufacturing companies with highly sophisticated processing technology for which necessary to produce medical devices. Such companies have greatly contributed to the fact that we are now one of the leading figures in this sector. こうした県内の医療機器産業をサポートするため私たちは2016年に福島医療機器開発支援センターを設立しました。To support the medical device industry in Fukushima Prefecture, we have established the Fukushima Medical Device Development Support Center in 2016. 福島医療機器開発支援センターは、医療機器の安全性評価、企業のマッチング、コンサルティング、人材育成機能を有しており、医療機器の開発から事業化までを総合的に支援する国内初の機関です。The Fukushima Medical Device Development Support Center provides medical device safety evaluation, company business matching, consulting service, and human resource development. We are the first institution in Japan to comprehensively support. The development and commercialization of medical devices. 特に豚を使った生物学的安全性評価試験を多く扱っており日本国内での薬事承認に必要な試験を行うことができますまた2019年11月にはティフラインランドジャパン社から EMC 試験における任命ラボの認定を取得しています In particular, we handle many biological safety evaluation tests using swines or pigs, and we can carry out the tests necessary for pharmaceutical regulatory approval in Japan. In November 2019, we were certified by TUF Lineland Japan as a designated lab for EMC testing. このセンターを核として日本国内そして世界においても医療機器といえば福島と認知してもらえるよう医療機器産業の高度化と集積に取り組んでいます。With this center at the core, we are working to enhance and integrate the medical device industry so that it will be recognized as in Japan and around the world, hoping people would say When it comes to medical devices, Fukushima comes first. ドイツ NRW シュートの交流は2014年に始まり、このコンパメットへの出展も9回目となります。The exchange with the state of North Rhine Westphalia. Or NRW in Germany began in 2014, and this is the ninth exhibition at Compamed. Lai Nen, Nisen Niju Ichinen, Wa, Nichidok Koryu, Hakrokju Shunen, O Mukae, Nisen Ju Ichinen, No, Higashi Nihon, Dai Shin Sai, To, Genshi Lok Hatsden Shodiko Karamo, Junen, To Yu, Okina, Fushimeni, Atakimas, Fukushima Ken, No, Fuko, O, 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 N, Shi, 支えていただいたすべての皆様に感謝を申し上げるとともに NRW 州と福島県の交流がますます進展することを期待しています。Next year, 2021, will mark the 160th anniversary of Japan-German exchange and will mark the 10th anniversary of the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and the nuclear power plant accident. We would like to extend our sincere gratitude to all the people who supported the reconstruction of Fukushima Prefecture, and we look forward to the further development of exchanges between NRW State and Fukushima Prefecture. Fukushima 
companies in Fukushima prefecture have taken advantage of their high technological capabilities to produce high quality and original medical devices. NRW 州政府機関をはじめ多くの方々のサポートを受けこれまで多くの機器がヨーロッパをはじめ世界の医療現場に導入されています。With the support of many people, including The NRW state government, many devices have been introduced and installed in medical organizations in Europe and around the world. ここで一つエピソードを紹介します。I would like to share one story with you. 皆さんは、はやぶさ2という小惑星探査機をご存知でしょうか2年前、小惑星、リュウグウに到達した日本のハヤブサ2の一部のパーツは、福島県内の企業が製造したものです。Do you know the asteroid explorer called ハヤブサ 2?Some parts of Japan's ハヤブサ2 that reached the small asteroid リュウグウ two years ago were manufactured by companies in Fukushima Prefecture. 宇宙空間を航行する人工衛星の部品には過酷な状況のもとでも問題なく作動する強靭性と高い精度が求められます。Parts of artificial satellites that navigate in outer space are required to have the strength and high accuracy to operate without problems even in very harsh conditions. これは福島県企業が困難な環境でも絶えず挑戦をし続け、新しい分野での成功を勝ち取ったことの少佐でもあります。This is a proof that Fukushima companies have continued to take on challenges even in a difficult environment and have won a success in a new field. こうした県内企業の活躍に支えられ、福島県は着実に復興の歩みを進めております。Supported by the activities of companies in the prefecture, Fukushima is steadily advancing its reconstruction process. ことしのコンパメットには5社の福島県企業が出展します。Five Fukushima companies will be exhibiting at this year's Compamet. Watashi no presentation no ato ni kigyo kara no hapio ga arimas. Dono kigyo mo unique de kakshin teki na gijutsu ya seihin o tenji ste orimas. There will be presentations from the companies after my presentation. Every company exhibits unique and innovative techniques and products. バーチャルによる展示会という新しい試みにも果敢に挑戦し、福島県企業は皆様に新しいビジネスチャンスをもたらすことと確信しております。We are confident that companies in Fukushima Prefecture will bring new business opportunities to everyone by boldly taking on new challenges, including virtual exhibitions. We look forward to seeing you at our booth. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Nakamura san.、Um, I think you, you showed very well how innovative Fukushima companies are and、uh, that they are good partners for NRW companies, especially small and medium sized companies. So, I hope we will see more and more business between the companies of our countries in the future. <clears throat>、um, so, for everyone, go to the pavilion of the Fukushima uh, um, uh, booth and also the IFAM uh, uh, pavilion. There you will find all these companies、um, which, we, which、uh, Nakamura san mentioned. And、um, also, we will organize some B2B meetings with these companies. So, if you are still Uh, still want to talk to them, you,、uh, there are slots free, so please contact us for, for that. 
So now we come to the <coughs> presentations of the uh, of nine companies, uh, five from Japan um, and uh, four from Germany, who have already contacts to Japan and they will explain a little bit about their products. We have only five minutes pitches, so please keep in time. Uh, we are already late. Um, the questions, as I said, will be done after the, uh, the pitches for everyone. If you want to have uh, uh, ask questions, please use the chat function and write your questions there and we can answer them uh, later then. Um, the, the pitches will be in English, but if you want uh, to ask questions later in Japanese, we have an interpreter, as you know, so you can do that also. So um, first will be uh, Ayumi Takahashi uh, from Nippon Piston Ring. Uh, she will talk about uh, nickel-free titanium tantalum uh, alloy, uh, a new nickel-free biomaterial for medical devices. Please. Yes. Hi, thank you for introducing me. Good morning and good evening, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank you to MRW Global Business CEO, Mr. Frick Snoigard, Ministry of Economic Affairs Director, Mrs. Ellen Dor, Jusselo Consulate General of Japan, Iwamasama, and Fukushima Prefectural government for giving us an opportunity to give a presentation here. Oh, thank you for IBAM too. <laughs> I'm Ayumi Takahashi of Nippon Peace and Ring. I am in charge of overseas sales. I'm very excited to introduce ourselves and our new patented alloy, Nifri, to you today. It is unfortunate that we couldn't visit Dusseldorf this year, in this year, I enjoy the beautiful memories of the, the autumn view and delicious. Sorry. Can you see me, our, our presentation now? Um, we, we see your organization part of the presentation, but uh, if it makes too much uh, difficulties to change that, you can. <laughs> okay. It like that. But we okay. see. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's perfect. Okay. Sorry, thank you. So, oh. And so first, let me tell you about NPR. NPR has been in the metal industry for 86 years and supplying engine parts to almost all the automotive manufacturer. We have offices and factories all over the world. We have an office for engine parts in Stuttgart, Germany. We acquired a dental implant company in 2014 and start to apply our expertise of metallurgy to the medical field. We've certificated some ISO, for example, ISO and 13485 as this life here. We've been exploring an opportunity to expand sales in medical field. So let's get to the main point. Different is our patented new biomaterial, which has unique properties such as high tensile strength, low yang module, modulus, 
near that of human bone, high elastic limit and high elongation. Nifri consists of about 50% of titanium, 50% of tantalum, and a little tin. Since tantalum is a high atomic number material, Nifri is X-ray detectable, unlike other titanium alloys. This is mechanical and physical properties chart of nephrite and other competitive materials. We can control properties such as tensile strength, tensile elongation, Young's modulus, and Vickers hardness by heat treatment. In addition to unique properties, nephrite is highly biocompatible. We conducted nine biocompatibility tests according to ISO 10993, which are required for implanta implantable medical device. As you can see here, we passed them all. Nifri has superior mechanicality mach and deformability compared to pure titanium and other titanium alloys. On top of that, it is with weldable and breathable. Some of you may know titanium hard to breathe and weld. And we can manufacture minimum 20 micrometer wire. We can also manufacture whatever you want, such as pipe, sheet, mesh, and so on. These are potential applications. We assume it is suitable for orthopedic implants since the Young's modulus is near that of human bone. It is radiopaque, so it might be able to alternate platinum cath catheter marker. We are collaborating with one of the major medical device manufacturer in the US to develop a new medical device now. We'd like to collaborate with Germany medical device manufacturer to develop a new medical device with our new material. I don't think I have enough time to introduce the details of this alloy. So if you are interested in it, please do not hesitate to contact to me. I look forward to a lot of inquiries. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Shane. Thank you very much. Thank you So we come to the next uh, presentation um, from uh, Malte Schnau from Inumi. Uh, Inumi is a company producing, is uh, uh, known for printable sensors and electronics. So let's see what we hear new from Mr. Schnau, please. Thank you, Mr. Dietrich. Hello. So, give me a second. Are you uh, able to see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay, thank you. Um, hello, uh, my name is Maite Schnau. Um, I want to introduce uh, the enemy GmbH. Um, history, vision, and father. Um, the enemy was founded 2015 by Mr. Martin Quader, Mr. Eike Kottkamp, and the Evan Quader Group. Um, we have an initial financing of the Quader Group of 3 million euros. And um, our vision is uh, to make hardware products um, digital anchored. We want to make products smarter. We want to make products intelligent. We want to gather data and improve your products. Um, Market growth and further is uh, with the existing product through better benefit, focus, quality, service, and support, expansion in the field of uh, sensor to cloud, and develop, realize, and successful place new products on the market. Okay, um, our milestones so far um, we are founded in 2015, as I said. Um, our headquarters are in Espelkamp, but we also have a development office uh, in South Germany in Munich. Um, in 2016, we grew to over 10 employees and uh, 
completed uh, the development of our first product, the drinking water sensor. 2018, we have the market launch of the sensor Lowell and uh, growth to uh, over 18 employees. So we are still um, in 2020, um, a small company. We are 25 employees now. Um, our um, company, Enume, uh, has a diversification into three business units. Uh, on the one side, Accensors, where we uh, develop um, sensor technology, uh, technology uh, printed sensors uh, on foil substrate. Um, the second business unit is uh, the Sensel um, business unit, which uh, has products for monitoring bioprocesses and cell culture analysis. And the third is Fabioc for consumables uh, for drug discovery and development. So to go uh, ahead uh, first for sensors, yes, it's a uh, business unit um, for printed sensors on fire, uh, film substrate. Uh, these uh, sensors have an um, uh, individual design and shape and um, the sensor type too. Uh, we want to um, yeah, improve different products, other products, customer products. And um, we offer a wide range of standard for uh, sensors too. Um, the um, parameters we are able to track uh, at the moment are temperature, pressure, moisture, pH, connectivity. And um, if you want to get the data in your product and get a more value out of a product, we have possibilities to integrate our sensors into your products with thermofoil processes or something like injection motoring, etc. cetera. Um, Fabioc is a biomimetic membrane um, that simulates the passive mass uh, transport through various areas in the body. It's a completely different part. Um, the membrane is also uh, very robust, stable uh, against uh, solvents and bioregulant solutions. Um, and with storm uh, room temperature. It's also possible to, to, to um, unless all of the product where we have um, the membrane integrated into a micro bitter plate, so it's uh, ready to use then. And the third business unit, the sensor, um, is a 24 channel microscope for the, the incubator. Um, it is remote and uh, automated. And that offers life cell imaging with a um, yeah, compatible um, standard uh, culture vessels. And it's compatible with standard uh, culture vessels. Um, it's possible to capture data, display, and analyze them and uh, perform over uh, 27, 24 to 7. Um, all the data. Um, going over into the cloud and are we monitored from your PC too. So um, on the next page, it's only a short picture of our products in case of a short amount of time. We'll finish here and if you have other questions into one of our three business units, um, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So we come now to the next uh, presentation from Japan. Uh, Shun Sasaki-san from Innofus uh, will talk about probably about your muscle um, suit uh, for back uh, release. So please. I thank you for the introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, at first, please let me introduce ourselves. Uh, we are Innofus. And I am Shun Sasaki, a manager of international business development. Uh, thank you so much for giving uh, us this opportunity. So please let me share the, uh, our uh, presentation slide. Come on, please. And today, uh, we will introduce uh, what about our company uh, and our two main products for the medical industry. The first, uh, we will show you uh, our company overview. 
Our name is uh, InnoFest, uh, based in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, but our technology center is in Fukushima, uh, established in 2013. Our company is founded by Mr. Hiroshi Kobayashi, and he is a professor of Tokyo University of Science. We are normally categorized as a robotics company, but the funded policy is a little bit unique. It is, we do not create fantastic robots, but uh, we do create robots for people's lives practically. The next slide shows the introduction of uh, one of our main products for medical workers. Uh, as uh, introduced uh, earlier, uh, the product name is Masu Suit. Uh, after users carry the suit like a backpack and, and wear it, the suit will give them 25.5 uh, kilogram force power, which might reduce the risk of the worker's back pain. This product was originally made for a caregiving industry to enable its workers easily lift up the person uh, who needs uh, caregiving or who has uh, paralysis. In Japan, uh, this product has gotten a uh, huge awareness already, we think. So it has been sold over 13,000 units. Additionally, uh, Master Suit is now featured by a uh, Japanese government uh, this magazine is officially published by the government uh, office of Japan. And the article said uh, the master suit is going to be one of the key solutions uh, for the Asian society in uh, our country. Uh, next slide will show our up upcoming uh, rehabilitation device. Its brand name is uh, Active Worker, uh, which is for the rehabilitation of uh, work terrain. This product is developed so that uh, the people who need a uh, work training uh, can proceed uh, the rehabilitation safely uh, by actively moving both legs uh, using the device. Uh, it is expected to reduce uh, contracture of the hip joint. This device is expected to be used in hospitals uh, that provide rehabilitation services. This is now under development as a class two medical device. This is a youth image of the active worker. The patient sits on the seat uh, with the harness on. The harness is connected to the top of the device. Uh, by moving the top of the device uh, and folding the seat, uh, the patient is placed in standing position uh, with uh, no weight bearing. And uh, once the patient is in the standing position, uh, the side parts uh, can be attached on them. Uh, although uh, we would like to share our detailed video uh, of how is, how is the device functioning. Uh, however, uh, we don't have uh, enough time in today's presentation, uh, so uh, please see uh, the video on our online booth during the complement exhibition. Uh, we'll be waiting for your visit. As the last information of our presentation, uh, we would like to share the production timeline of Active Worker. This device is now under development, uh, but uh, we will proceed some performance evaluations uh, very soon. And after that, uh, we are going to file a pharmaceutical application and assume uh, the, the approval will be gotten in early 2022. That's all from us. And thank you very much for your attention. We are looking forward to your contacting us via our uh, online booth in Compamet. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sasaki-san. Um, so exactly what that's what I want to, uh, to focus on also. Please contact all the speakers on their online booths at, uh, at the uh, Compamate. And if you don't find them, uh, you can contact us and we will forward it to them.
so thank you very much again. The next talk will be by Martin Volkmann from Rösis Medtech GmbH. Uh, he will probably talk about support for workplaces, workplaces for hospitals and doctors' offices. So Martin, the floor is yours. Yes. Hello, everybody. I would like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank, thank Thomas Dietrich and the whole IFAM team for uh, make it possible, Mrs. Uh, Karazu and everybody. And also thank uh, Jetro team and uh, special greetings to um, uh, Peter Reiling, Simon uh, Simon Esla, and uh, of course the fantastic Mr. Ito. Hello everybody. And, um, and of course, thank, thanks to all Japanese counterparts and uh, the Fukushima prefecture to make it happen. Um, I will make it very um, short because uh, I, I'm in the field of uh, radiology uh, and fluoroscopy. And uh, if someone is interested, it can uh, contact me or contact our team at the booth at the Compamed. Uh, because uh, I think it doesn't make sense if I uh, make a long presentation here and for people that are not into the field. So I will now like to share my uh, uh, screen <clears throat> and make um, a uh, small presentation of our uh, products. There we go. Uh, I'm I was uh, formerly, on, when I was in the uh, Fukushima prefecture, I was working with a, a laser navigated system. The company, due to uh, the corona COVID-19, went bankrupt and I changed the companies. Now I'm at the Roses in the same city as uh, Mr. Uh, Maltesh now from Espel Camp. And um, I will... Um, I will uh, like to show you a little bit what we do. We um, we make um, a radi radiology systems for um, for the um, uh, also radiology and fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy is where the doctor operates and can see it live while operating. Um, we our systems are very robust. They're sell, are sold worldwide. And we have here, uh, I you can see a, um, one of the features is that the, the, the um, our systems, the radiology systems has, a, they have a, a collimator and a detector is where the, the rays are shot and the detector is where the rays are collected where you can see the image. And the um, um, selling point of our systems is that the system is robotic so you, you, you give the information to the software where you want to, be, to have the image, if it's on the head or if it's on the knee or, or if it's on the lungs. Now we have with Corona, lots of lungs uh, examinations and the system moves around the patient and to, uh, to position it itself exactly where you, where you wanna have the shot. Here in this, uh, I don't know if you can see my, uh, can you see my presentation? Yes, we do. Okay, yes. And here you can see you have a headshot and then uh, I'll just show my, my next, um, uh, next uh, image. You can see when patients cannot, are not be able to walk into the examination room, you bring them with the bed and then you see the, the uh, detector right in front of the, our uh, patient. Uh, the detector moves robot with, a, uh, with the software, mo moves it um, uh, by itself in front of the patient. You can bring the patient with the bed to the examination room. Okay, uh, this is just a little bit to, to, uh, to start, uh, the, 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 to get a start to the, to the uh, subject. And we are at our booth, uh, online booth at the Compamed. If you're interested in the X-ray and uh, 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 groundbreaking X-ray systems, you just contact us, contact us at the Compamed. As I said, the name of this company is Roses and uh, you can uh, contact, us, contact us anytime. 
uh, thank you very much. And uh, I wish you all to stay safe. And thank everybody in Japan too. Thank you very much to Martin Volkmann. So next uh, uh, talk will be done by Julian Nete. I hope I pronounce it uh, in the right way as a German name. <laughs> Uh, he will talk uh, for Shibaura Electronics and about applications of NTC thermistor, uh, thermistors, um, so about uh, temperature sensors for medical equipment. So, Mr. Neto, the floor is yours. Flawless pronunciation, very rare, thank you. <laughs> okay, let me share my presentation. I hope you can see it. All right. Okay, then um, I would like to say hello to everyone in Europe. Good morning. Uh, my name, as I already was introduced, is Julian Nete. I am working for Shiba Ura Electronics and we are manufacturing and selling um, temperature sensing technology as sensors and temperature sensing elements. Now for some key facts. As for the sales in the fiscal year 2019, we achieved 250 million US dollars um, with 450 million pieces sold. The group um, worldwide um, employs around 4,300 people, me being one of them. Here you can see our international network um, since it's a Japanese company, I think it doesn't come as a surprise that there is a focus on the Asian market. But of course, we are also um, present in the Americas, um, specifically in Detroit, as well as in Europe, um, um, in Munich, where I am right now. Now, more a bit in detail about our products. Um, we can offer a wide temperature range from minus 50 degrees C to 1000 degrees C, which lets us cover a wide range of applications from um, autoclave chambers, freezers, automotive applications, and many others. Now a bit more in detail about the products themselves. On the top, you can see um, thermistor elements. Um, and on the bottom, you can see temperature sensing probes. Um, the um, thermistor elements are completely produced in Fukushima. Every piece that you will have and hold in your hand at some point um, will come out of Fukushima. Um, and they are all glass encapsulated, which is a Shiba Ura invented and patented technology from 1972. And since then, we um, improved and kept developing the, the product so that our customers can uh, use it to the fullest. As for the sensor, uh, sensor probes on the bottom, um, all of them have a thermistor element inside. So basically the, the heart of the product always is the element. And then you have an outer shell, which makes it, for uh, example, possible to use it in oil or water or other harsh environments. Here you can see um, basically the share, um, how, how many products we sell in each market. Um, as you can see, the, the range goes from the automotive market to the medical market, office automation, um, a quite wide variety. Next, I would like to um, introduce some examples of uh, medical applications in which our sensors are being currently used. For the start, we have the autoclave chamber, um, which uses the temperature sensor on the right. This sensor is specifically uh, fit to, uh, to the use in autoclave chambers because it's firstly waterproof, which of course is necessary, and it has a high response time. So the measurement is very quick, basically. The next example would be analyzers, in this case, biochemical or blood analyzers. Um, again, the sensor on the right. And uh, this sensor in particular, because it provides a very stable measurement, which you need for this kind of analyzer. Now um, we see a disinfector, in this specific case, an endoscope washer disinfector. 
the sensor again on the right. Um, this sensor is um, interesting because it is tailor-made for this application, which is one of the main strengths of Shiba Ura that we can offer and we love to offer. Our engineers have a lot of experience to work with the customer to find and design the right product just specifically for them. Now for the final application that I would like to shortly introduce. Um, as we already talked about COVID-19, I think you're all aware that due to the to the pandemic, the um, demand for uh, ventilators or breathing appliances uh, skyrocketed, skyrocketed in a very short amount of time. And in such applications, you need to uh, measure the airflow. This we can do by using two thermistors, as you can see in the bottom left part of the slide. And um, by measuring this airflow, we can ensure that the right amount of oxy oxygen reaches the patient, which of course is crucial. So I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to thank the NRW State uh, and Fukushima can to make this seminar happening. And I'm very much looking forward to welcoming you at our booth. Have fun with the um, following presentations. Thank you very much, Mr. Nete. Um, so this was the presentation from Shiba Ura Electronics. Now we come uh, again to a German presentation from FRT. Um, Mr. Uh, Gergely will give this presentation probably on metrology and quality inspection kind of uh, products. Please, Mr. Gergely. Okay. I don't see him. Um, so probably he is not there at the moment. So um, we, we will maybe shift that to a later time and uh, go. Ah, no. No? Miss. Okay, so we shift that to a later time and come uh, to the next talk from ESQ. Uh, Mr. Akihisa Matsuno will give a short introduction about the company and especially about the precis precision metal tubing. Thank you very much. Um, hi, do you hear me? Hello? Yes, we hear you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction, Dr. Dietrich. Uh, and thank you, uh, thank you all for uh, giving up us this presentation opportunity. Uh, my name is Akis Matsuno, sales representative of Precious Metal Tubing Specialist, ESQ Limited. Uh, we are also called ESQ in Japanese. So uh, let me start my presentation. Okay, this is a slide right now. Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. So first of all, brief introduction of our company. We are located in a small town called Yabuki in Fukushima and uh, has a history of about 20 years in business. We maintain a fairly compact production facilities of about 4,000 square meters with uh, employees of about 30 to 40 people as, as of today. <clears throat> and uh, what we make is fairly simple, uh, pipes, tubes, things of uh, various sizes and shapes, basically any metal parts uh, with a hole, especially very small ones. And they are made from various raw materials such as stainless steel, nickel, cobalt alloys, rare and precious metals such as tantalum, titanium, and others. And uh, as for how we make the tubes, here's a short movie showing part of our production process. So as uh, showing this movie with repeated drawings plus heat treatment processes, we make the straight tubes first. 
our tubes can be delivered in a straight tube format, but uh, depending on the customer's uh, request, we can also do secondary processing, such as cut, cutting, riding, and bending, so forth, to make it in various sizes and shapes to fit customer needs. And our fields of products are uh, parts for automotive and electro electronic devices used to make, take up a large portion of our cells. But now uses for medical devices are rising over 50% of the total. And among those devices, uh, endoscopic parts and uh, tubes for stents, microtubes for catheters, uh, some of the applications where tubes are used are being used. <clears throat> and uh, now I would like to introduce a couple of tubing products that may likely be made only by our company. First one is this uh, ultra thin elongated nickel titanium alloy tube. It has outer diameter of 0.2 millimeters and inner diameter of uh, 0.1 and length of over two meters. So uh, it actually looks like uh, very thin wire. We had this order from a customer because no other companies could, uh, companies could make it so thin, but we have somehow managed to make it after several trial productions. So uh, this is something we can be very much uh, proud of. And this is a short movie of the product. So you see the water coming up out of its tip. This can be used a microtube or catheter to deliver certain fluid agent to a deep part of your body, uh, maybe carried through tiny blood vessels. And uh, here's another example of our unique product, thin wall tantrum tube used for uh, mercury. These mother inks have been uh, generally made of platinum, but uh, because it is quite expensive, the production is shifting to its uh, use for more cost-effective tantalum. Uh, while tantalum is known to be a very hard to process material, we have managed to make it as small as the minimum wall thickness of 0.2 millimeters, which is actually smaller than the crystal grain size of the tantalum itself. So this is another example of a product uh, which may be only made by our company. And just a few other examples of uh, our general products. <clears throat> so thick wall tubes are as hard to produce as the thin wall ones through drawing method, but we can manage to do it as well. And we can also make a tube with a tapered end like this. Uh, through cutting and grinding. And here's a production dimension chart. The blue part shows uh, our production range. Generally, we can work the wall thickness as small as uh, 15 micron and up and with out outer diameters of uh, different uh, sizes here. And this also depends on the material. So please feel free to ask us for your desired size and material, uh, even if uh, your products may not quite fit this uh, production range. We can always try to uh, expand our production range. So uh, finally, at ESQ, our motto is uh, creative challenge please ask us if you have any problem with metal tubing. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope to work with you in near future. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Matsuno-san. Um, for, for every German company, if you have ever the chance to come to Yabuki, please visit them. It's very impressive, their production. I have been there and it's very nice to, to be there and, and let them explain what they can do. So please use this chance next time when, when you can travel again. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.
So now we come to uh, Emmet Plus, uh, presented by Birke Nispel. He has already a lot of experience in Japan, and probably we will hear a little bit about that now. <laughs> Birke, it's your turn. Thank you very much, Thomas. So, minasama, ohayo gozaimasu, eto konbawa. Watashi wa Nispel des, watashi wa Emmet Plus no chacho des. For the further presentation, I would like to continue in English language for a better understanding. First of all, thank you very much to the organizers to uh, organize this event in this professional way. And thank you also to all these participants to give us your most worthful resource, which is time. So I would like to share my presentation with you. I hope it works. So do you see this picture of me and the address? I, we see only the picture of you. Only the picture of me. Let me, let me check what I have done. I think I need to press on Thailand. Maybe now? Yes, now it comes. Perfect. Every day I learn a little bit more about this beautiful technique. So my name is uh, Birger Nispel. This is a company address. We are located in Bochum, North and Westphalia. And um, so why Japan? I am in contact with Japan since 2014 by the Memorandum of Understanding, which was founded several years ago due to this great disaster on the 11th of March, 2011. In the meantime, I have contacted several companies in the prefecture of Fukushima, and since 2019, I um, was a, um, a act as a business ambassador of prefecture Fukushima. What we are doing in the core business, we are manufacturer of anti bed source system. The anti bed source system is a medical system for immobile people who need to stay a long time in the bed and it is for avoiding wounds. So we want to avoid a wound uh, caused by lying for a long time in the bed. Our devices are very, very quiet and very soft, which is absolutely efficient for avoiding anti for a bed sore ulcera. We have a very long lifetime and a, a very efficient treatment. Some of you might think, yes, he's a CEO, he needs to say this, and that's correct, I need to say this because it's true, but the time is too short to prove everything which, which um, um, performance our devices are ready to give. So please contact me by the email address to get more explanation by me. What we also do is practical networking, that is the background of um, the success um, which we have with the um, different Japanese companies. I would like to share some insights of my mindset because I think in this time it is uh, necessary to know and to get some hints and uh, to get maybe some help out of this crisis. So this presentation is a little bit different, but I want to let you take a look into my mindset very briefly. So we focused on this uh, word crisis, but um, it consists of two countries and we only fo focus on that part of this description, what a crisis means. That means opportunity or possibility. And we ignore the first part, we only focus on the second part because on the first part, we don't have control, but we have control on the second part to um, build up the future. This is what we have done in our company in this in this last yeah last year since the lockdown first lockdown came. That is Kuvati. Maybe you do not know what Kuvati is, but Kuvati was invented on the typewriter. Kuvati means the structure of the types. When you press the, these types, then the types will avoid to match each other by typing. So you are limited to go in fast development, but you are focused and forced to do it correctly. So this is to avoid chaos, to get new structure. And this is what we have done in this crisis with our core products. So what have what have uh, what has happened um, in uh, end of 2000, 
19, I just have 560 contacts by, by LinkedIn. Now I have over 2,004 new customers have born out of this, um, uh, yeah, this uh, development and this action to take, to use the time to get new customers. So that means trade fair is every day. And um, all these contacts have been, um, have been converted into four new customers till now. So we used the time very efficiently. Furthermore, um, we implemented new websites and new services. I, one moment. So this is a new website which we, which we have launched now and which gives a lot of service, intercultural service, sales service, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And to make it short, I would like to close my speech with the following sentence. And for this, I will end. Well, we disable the presentation now because you should see me again now. I would like to send you the best wishes and please stay healthy. I'm happy every evening when I go to bed because and I'm grateful for, for the new day because with a new day, the end of the crisis is coming closer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Birger. Uh for this nice insight into your mindset and, and your products also. So the last but not least presentation will be done by Kento Amano from Asahi Rubber and he will talk about the products of Asahi Rubber with cutting edge technologies. Please, Amano-san. Mr. Dietrich, thank you for your introduction. Company team, thank you for giving me such a great opportunity to introduce ourselves today. Can you see? Um, we, see your, we don't see your presentation, only the, um, the PowerPoint uh, thing the organization part. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. This is the other one. But you can, con uh, you can continue. It's okay. You can, you can, we can see everything. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Amano from Asahiraba from Japan. I'm in charge of sales for medical products. Today, I'd like to present about my company and some products. Today's agenda. Introduction. Core technology of Asahi Rubber. Products, I pick up three products today. And conclusion. Who is Asahi Rubber? Asahi Rubber is a B2B manufacturer of industrial rubber products. We base ourselves in Japan. Please keep up, please keep up tonight. Oh. Sorry, not to move. Show you the other one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, today's agenda uh, introduction. What 
テクノロジー、オブアサヒラバー、プロダクツ、I pick up three products today, and conclusion. Who is アサヒラバーアサヒラバー is a B2B manufacturer of industrial rubber products. We base ourselves in Japan. Medical business is one of our main activities, representing nearly one third of the business. Asahiraba is a technology oriented company, focusing niche markets that demand the highest grade components. Asahiraba has global operation mainly in USA and Asia. Three sales offices in Japan, two in China, one in the USA. Although we have factories in Japan and China, when it comes to medical, all products are manufactured in Japan. As a Hiraba's core technology, three core technologies are shown here. Surface modification such as molecular bonding and coating. Denaturation are our strengths to produce first rate products. Now, let me introduce products. The first one is super thin silicon sheet. This sheet is very thin. Such as a 50 micrometer ship produced with solvent free material that provides the reliability to medical or life science a p p l i c a t i o n One important news is that super hydrophilic silicon surface is available today. If you have an interest in it, We are very happy to talk with you at our booth. The second item is one way check valves, named as AR check valve. They are high quality valves for gravity infusion with small lot production. Being produced in clean room with ISO class 7. Or US class 10,000. They can be used in various, various fields, including healthcare setting. The third item is models made of soft material. Picture shown operation training models made of highly stretchable soft material. Visit a booth. To see the material that stretches to more than 10 times its original length. Conclusion Asahiraba is an expert of materials, soft components in Japan. We are here today to service you, new European customers, with our cutting edge technologies. Thank you for your time today. Please visit our booth. You are highly welcome for commercial or technical discussion. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much,、uh, Kento Amano san. Thank you for your、uh, introduction of Asahi Rubber. And、um, I just want to mention that.、Uh, Um, that the talk by FRT will not take place.、Uh, they had some technical issues, so they cannot、uh, join, but they will、uh, record a video and we will add it, this to the stream later on. So, again, for you,、uh, thank you very much, Kento Amano.、Um, thank you very much. So,、um, we are very far with the time, so, but、um, I would like to open the floor for some discussions. But first of all,、um, thank you very much to, to all the presenters、um, and uh, to, um, to, to all the, the 
um, people here in the audience that you are here, but if you have a little more time, we can uh, start discussion a little more. Um, I did not get any questions in the in the uh, the chat room. So if you have any questions regarding the uh, the talks, the presentations, please uh, raise your digital hand, which you can do when you click on the participant list, and then um, we can add some some questions here. Um, at the moment, I don't see someone doing this. So, but. I would like to give you some ideas about this uh, this project and um, about how you can join um, this initiative between Fukushima and uh, NRW. Um, we we had um, um, this project is running already since two thousand four, uh, as you as you probably know um, the very important part of this joint project is the, the good cooperation between NRW and Fukushima Prefecture. Um, so you heard about, uh, already that uh, NRW International, now Global Business, um, and the Chamber of Commerce in Düsseldorf and IFAM, funded by the Ministry for Econ Economic Affairs, uh, organizing this from the, from the German side. Um, and what we are doing is uh, we are the first contact for companies. So if you are a, a company from NRW and want to make uh, contacts into, um, into Fukushima Prefecture or um, uh, other parts of Japan, let us know and we try to make this um, happen. We organize meetings for, for the German companies to exchange experiences and give recommendations. Uh, to help companies who are in Japan for the first time and so on. And uh, we also organize meetings and exchange between companies from NRW and Fukushima, um, as we do, for example, the next few days uh, at Compamed. Um, and uh, also we support German companies when they are going to visit, uh, for example, the medical creation fair in, in Fukushima. Um, my counterpart on the Japanese side is my dear colleague uh, Masahiro Ito. Um, from, uh, he is the Fukushima Prefecture Government Coordinator. And uh, I would uh, like to uh, ask you, Ito-san, um, you're helping the Japanese companies uh, to do business with Germany. So how exactly can you help uh, Japanese companies? Who can contact you and how does that work? Can you explain a little bit how that works on the Japanese side? Ito-san? Yes. Um, sorry, um, sorry, I'm gonna okay. answer on the okay, do you, say so. Do you hear me? Um, oh, do you hear okay. me? So I will let the uh, speak. Hi. Hello. It was on, we can hear you? Yeah, 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 may speak, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, from the first beginning, I value very much about the uh, chemistry of both companies. Uh, German and uh, Japanese. So first thing, uh, when I get the uh, contact from the German companies, uh, then I uh, visit uh, myself uh, the, the German companies first to get the uh, broader knowledge about the products and technology. And at the same time, I talk with the management uh, uh, very, uh, very much and uh, want to know the way of thinking of the management and the degree of enthusiasm to, get, to, con the, to continue the uh, partnership with Japanese companies. And then I, uh, well, on that occasion, uh, in many cases, uh, uh, Mr. Nisper, also accompanies me and helps me very much. And uh, in that way, uh, after my visit, I, co I come back to Japan, I visit the, uh, the uh, Japanese company, uh, which uh, I think would be very uh, proper and probable uh, and suitable 
for the, for this uh, matching. Then uh, we talk with the, the president of the company uh, very uh, concretely and how to approach to the German company. And then uh, we continue uh, communication by mail. When necessary, uh, the, uh, the company and myself visit Germany uh, together. Uh, in the past, I used to visit four times, uh, visit Germany four times uh, a year, and that would be, that would give me the sufficient time to continue good communication. Okay, yeah, that sounds interesting. So any Japanese or Fukushima company can contact you uh, directly or just let go through the- Yes, uh, yes, directly, uh, yeah. Uh, directly or through uh, Fukushima Prefectural Government. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. And um, uh, Simon Esler, you, you work uh, as a German in the Prefectural Government and uh, um, so together with Itosan, you are the main contact probably for for the uh, for for Germany. But what is, is exactly your role in Fukushima, and uh, what do you think about this project uh, between Germany and oh, NRW and, and Fukushima? Okay, uh, just very shortly. Um, I'm also a coordinator working for Fukushima Prefectural Government here in Fukushima City. So uh, my job is basically to help building bridges between German companies, foreign companies, and uh, companies in Fukushima. And because I'm here and even when I'm gone, uh, someone else will be uh, in my chair. So there is always someone speaking German, speaking German here in Fukushima. And uh, basically, I... Uh, handle any re requests uh, anyone can uh, get in touch with me ask me and uh, i will uh, either forward you to the person in charge or uh, answer to it myself so please feel free to contact uh, mr ito me or uh, my colleagues here at the medical uh, industry cluster promotion unit and uh, we will be uh, glad to get you in touch with Fukushima companies. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, that sounds, sounds great. So I think there are the channels open for everyone to get in touch with uh, companies on both sides. Uh, uh, we heard already Berger Nispel and he has really a lot of experience here and what uh, uh, Ito-san already said is that uh, he uh, supports also the activities in uh, with Ito uh, San together. So, Berger, what uh, would you say? Um, how, how successful is this project? And um, how did uh, this project support you when, you when you started? Was it necessary? Was it important? Uh, or would you have done all this also without this project? Regarding your um, last question, if this would be possible without the project, definitely no. Because um, on the first view, uh, Japan and Germany is different, but we have a lot of things in common. But I think it is not this what we have in common. It is how to supplement each other, how to add, how to com complete each other for this business. Huh? So for, for, one, for an example, we have a very good uh, relationship and business contact to company Echo Electricity, Echo Denki. And... Um, they produce an ophthalmology medical product to measure the, the wetness of the eye, yeah, the, 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 the tear transmission. And we have nothing to do with ophthalmology, but we have in our network a Canadian company who is very, very strong in this, in this field, even in the veterinarian field. But when Japanese and uh, Canadian meet each other, they do not match. So you need a translator, you need a coordinator. Yeah, you need to, to, to balance it and to, to, to explain the meaning behind that, the intercultural meaning, which, is, which could be different and could not be understood in the right way on the first view. So this is very necessary. And this is given by the um, intensive work of uh, coordinators like Ito-san and Esla-san, um, 
because they they have experience with with both parties and they can they can perfectly manage this but it is very important to make, to meet face to face which is unfortunately not possible this year but we make the best of it by meeting online and having these zoom or webex whatever conferences but uh, I, I hope to 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 get to Japan and to have this um, this personal meeting very very soon uh, because this is absolutely necessary not to to lose the strong binding and uh, to to intensify the work. Yes, you're totally right. I agree totally with you. We need the personal contact and um, I'm really missing that I could not uh, travel to Japan this year, <laughs> as you probably do also. And vice versa, I'm sure that our, our Japanese friends uh, like to come to, here to talk to, to German customers, which, which is not possible at the moment. So thank you very much for this, uh, for this insight. I don't see any uh, more questions here, so uh, just keep uh, the message that uh, you have the partners on both sides you can contact uh, on the German side it's uh, NRW uh, Global Business and eFarm and the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce in Düsseldorf and on the Japanese side you've heard uh, Ito-san and the people from the prefectural government um, and of course also from JETRO who help um, uh, each way to get in contact and uh, start uh, fruitful business. So many thanks to all speakers, um, especially uh, to Mrs. Stirl, the Consul General Iwama, Mr. Neugart and uh, Nakamura-san. Thanks to all participants and especially for taking part in the discussions and um, hope to see you very soon. But now um, Iwama-san uh, opened his uh, camera. So you want to say something again? No. <laughs> I just want to thank you for organizing the, uh, uh, this event. Just, just want to say that. Okay, thank you. So I hope uh, you all enjoyed the meeting and um, it's just the start of, of, of Compamed. So we are the first uh, um, uh, meeting uh, on Compamed. I hope you can see, uh, and I hope I, I can see many of you again during the next days uh, at Compamed and Medica during the B2B matching events. You found uh, a link, so if you don't have a, a meeting yet, um, you can still organize, uh, ask for it. Um, and we have other seminars and workshops and uh, the eFarm Virtual Joint Pavilion, the Fukushima Joint Pavilion, the NRW Joint Pavilion. So go there and have a look who is there and talk to the, to the exhibitors. It's the only way we can do it this year. And hopefully we have face-to-face um, uh, -face meetings next year again. So have a successful day. Mina um, sama dozo o genki de. And uh, see us soon in Japan or in Germany. Bye-bye.